The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the Technology Leaders Program, or TLP. My name is Reed Bailey, coordinator for the TLP and faculty member in Systems and Information Engineering. We're glad that you're interested in learning more about the TLP. It is an exciting, innovative undergraduate program focused on developing interdisciplinary knowledge through a hands-on applied curriculum. There are five big points made in this video today about the TLP. First, it's an interdisciplinary program between systems, electrical, computer, and mechanical engineering. TLP students learn how to collaborate with engineers from the other majors and how to work at the systems integration level. Secondly, internships with TLP partner companies. The interest in the TLP from industry is strong. And while we don't arrange for internships for TLP students, we do help you build relationships with our internship partners. Thirdly, the TLP is an integrated program related to your major. You're not left on your own to figure out how to integrate the TLP topics with topics from your major. Many parts of the TLP, including two TLP specific courses, aim to develop an integrated body of knowledge in students. Now these two TLP specific courses are really focused on design and prototyping. And many parts of the TLP are focused on design and prototyping. We know you can't learn how to design without doing design. Hence, it's a big part of the TLP right from the very beginning. Finally, the TLP is not huge, and this is a big benefit for the students in the TLP. Not only do you get to know TLP students in your own year well, you'll get to know TLP students across all years of the program. A good place to start when explaining the TLP is with an example. Pictured here are quadcopters, which are essentially helicopters with four blades, one in each corner. These are very maneuverable, and TLP students have worked on a project to design quadcopters that can autonomously fly into buildings and produce a map of that building, all while being driven by an Android phone. So you can see in this example, mechanical engineering and the motors being on there that are driving the propellers and the dynamics of the quadcopter. Uh, you can see computer engineering uh, and the software on board the Android phone and the processing of the data coming in from sensors. The electrical engineering also is heavily focused on the processing and the actual sensors themselves. Systems engine engineering, you'll be able to see through the modeling of all this data to produce a map of a building and looking at the system level trade-offs when you're designing such a complex system. Another way to think about dimensions of the TLP is to think about how data plays such a key role at the interface between electrical, mechanical systems and computer engineering. Systems like these produce data by having bunches of sensors collecting information. They store that data and then that data is accessed to produce models. In this case, the model could be the map of the interior of a building. And ultimately, those models and all that data are used to inform actions. Well, with that example, let's transition into why the TLP matters. We're going to explain that, first of all, that the TLP creates T-shaped individuals. And we'll do that two different ways. And secondly is this idea of modern systems having a real central role for data. Well, let's start with this idea of a T-shaped person. And the starting point for that is to explain that any major in an engineering field prepares a student to be a specialist in that field. Now our vision for TLP students goes beyond this. First of all, yes, you're, you're gonna have deep knowledge in that one field of your major. But secondly, we want a TLP student to be able to collaborate with people from other fields and to be able to do both component level and system level design. These latter two bullets are the two different types of T-shaped dimensions that we want our TLP students to reach. So let's talk about this first kind of T-shaped person. I'll call it the traditional T-shaped person. Defined as someone who has mastery depth in one area and introductory or working knowledge in many other fields. This depth and breadth combination is very valuable when designing real world systems. The TLP does prepare students to be this kind of T-shaped person with the vertical part representing mastery of their major and the horizontal part representing introductory knowledge in the other TLP majors. The key image I have for this type of T-shaped person is that of a specialist who can collaborate with people from other majors, with each person working on a subsystem or component that matches their deep disciplinary specialty. For instance, on the quadcopter, the specialist part has system engineers 
working on the algorithms to prepare the maps of where the walls are in a building, mechanical engineers working on the quadcopter itself, and electrical and computer engineers working on the sensors, processing, and communications. The collaborating part has each of these specialists with enough knowledge of the other fields that they can work together. Many interdisciplinary programs aim to develop students capable of this first type of T-shaped person, just as the TLP does. The TLP is unique in that it also aims for a different kind of T-shaped person. The second kind of T has domain-specific component design knowledge as the depth area and systems integration knowledge as the horizontal bar at the top of the T. That is, the ability to focus on designing one subsystem or component is the vertical, while the ability to integrate subsystems to develop a system that meets certain objectives is the horizontal. The key distinction between the two kinds of T-shaped people is this. The first type of T-shaped person will focus on designing components within their specialty while being able to work with other specialists also designing components. The second kind of T-shaped person, on the other hand, can work not only at the component level, but also at the systems integration level. Our systems majors will focus more on the systems integration while ECE and mechanical engineering students will be stronger with the component design parts. But we want all of the TLP students to be able to partner with those working at different levels from themselves. We sum this up by saying that TLP students should be able to function as complementary partners, able to work at both integration and component levels of the same problem. To get this point across another way, let's look at something familiar, team sports. Within a team sport, each position is like a different major in engineering. Just do your major, then you can play your position. But who knows if you can play as part of a team, right? Well, step one is this collaborating specialist type of T-shaped person. Each person is good at their own thing and able to work with others who are good at their own things. And how is this normally achieved? Through practicing with each other. Just like with the TLP. You're going to get a lot of experience of working with students from the other majors in the TLP. Now, the TLP also has this element of a T-shaped person we refer to as complementary partners. This is someone good at the subsystem or component design along with system level design. Someone good at component level or subsystem design for the team sports analogy will be able to play one position well. Someone good at system design will be able to coach an entire team and see trade-offs at the team level. How is the system's perspective normally gained, say in sports? Well, typical route is for someone to be really good at a position and then to gain the system's perspective as a coach over years and years of experience. Well, the same is true with engineering. Most engineering students get good at component design within their major and grow into this systems integration kind of T-shaped person over 15 or 20 years of experience. We're trying something radically different with the TLP. We're trying to jumpstart you down the path to being both kinds of T-shaped people while you're still an undergraduate. So the two types of T-shaped people that we hope that all of our TLP students become more like are a couple of the reasons why the TLP matters. A third reason is represented by this circular diagram over on the right, which is a unifying theme of the TLP related to data. Data is huge right now and it's gonna be for a long time in the future. And in the TLP, we're interested in helping students learn how to design systems that engage in all dimensions of the data life cycle. This life cycle starts by understanding what is the problem we're trying to solve and its related objectives. This is the systems integration part of the second kind of T-shaped person we talked about a minute ago. For the quadcopter, it's aimed at making maps of buildings or otherwise avoiding obstacles or walls when flying the quadcopter. Objectives such as reducing the weight of the quadcopter, or reducing the costs, increasing the flight time on a single charge, increasing the accuracy of the map, or reducing the chance it would fly into an obstacle or a wall are all part of the problem for the quadcopter. Other parts of this data life cycle now are really focused on getting data from sensors or video or audio, uh, storing and accessing that data in databases that are on, on hardware, processing the data, making mathematical models of the data or processing it with microprocessors or processing it through visualization of the data. And all of this ultimately is in support of making decisions or taking action 
relevant to what the problem is. For the quadcopter, for instance, sensors collect data about the distance of the quadcopter to different walls or obstacles. This data is stored in a, a database on the Android phone. And this data is then analyzed and used to generate a map of um, where obstacles are likely to be in the way of the quadcopter and, and, and what the building looks like. Ultimately, action is taken by the quadcopter deciding where to fly next. Another example of this data lifecycle could be a smart house aimed at being more energy efficient. You could have a lot of sensors in the house that are measuring occupant location, temperatures, humidity inside and outside of the house, producing the data. You could be storing that data either locally or on the cloud. You could process that data with models to predict when to open windows or when to turn on the air conditioning to be more energy efficient, or when to dim the lights due to natural lighting coming in the windows, or when to lower the blinds. And then, based on those models, you could take action, actually doing it, open the windows, turn on the AC, dim the lights, lower the blinds, etc. Now, I bet you can also see how the four different majors of the TLP, mechanical, computer, electrical, and systems, are all interrelated with this data lifecycle, and you can certainly see them in the smart house to be energy efficient example. So let's jump in and see the curriculum. Now it looks a little different for systems majors, ECE majors, and mechanical majors, and we'll look at it year by year. In the second year, in the fall, you would take one additional course that would be an elective in your major. For ECE and mechanical majors, you would all take Systems 2001, called System Engineering Concepts, and systems majors would take either a uh, CS or ECE class or a mechanical engineering class. In the spring of the second year, you take a TLP-specific class called Introduction to Electromechanical Systems. In the third year, uh, you would take Mechatronics, a mechanical engineering class. And then in the third year of the spring, you would take a TLP third year design class, or you could do approved research in an area centered around systems, electrical, computer, and mechanical engineering. One of the trends that you're going to see developing up top here is that the second year and a little bit of the third year is about grounding yourself in the four disciplines of the TLP. And then in the third and fourth year, while you deepen your knowledge in your own major, you gain more integration skills between these four majors, culminating in your capstone project, which takes up both semesters of your fourth year. Additionally, every TLP student participates in the Technology Leaders Program Learning Community every semester they're in the program. This is a half credit class that meets every other week. In here, we focus on a variety of things. We have speakers, sometimes we'll do field trips with a common focus on leadership, on integration and reflection of some of the things going on in the TLP and getting to know other people in the TLP, not only from your year, but from other years. Now, one thing we recognize is you can't learn this kind of material without applied experiences, whether that's an internship or research. As such, each TLP student is required to complete an internship or a research experience that focuses on a TLP-related topic during at least one of their summers. Now, internships can be with any company, but we do have a set of companies that are designated as TLP partners. Now, these companies have indicated interest in the unique skill set that TLP students bring. To be clear, we don't place or guarantee that any of the TLP students get an internship with one of these companies, but we do have good relationships with these companies and they are interested in looking out for TLP students. A key resource of the TLP is the TLP Design Studio, a place for designing and prototyping the kind of systems we've been talking about in this video. Additionally, there's a strong team of faculty from all the departments related to the TLP that are leading the program. In terms of fitness in your major, you can think about it as one elective course, which is part of the TLP, and then the TLP learning community being taken every semester from the second semester forward. A lot of times students want to know if the business minor can fit with the TLP. The answer is yes. We've had quite a number of students who've done both the business minor and the TLP. So that's what you do in the TLP. Now let's talk about how to apply. Now, in the spring of your first year, you're going to be applying for your major. And at the same time, on the same form, you'll indicate interest in the TLP. Early April, you'll hear if you're accepted into the TLP. Mid-April is when you register for courses for the following fall, including the TLP courses like the Learning Community. 
midsummer you hear which major you're accepted into and then of course in the fall you'll actually start taking your classes so to summarize the tlp is an interdisciplinary program between systems electrical computer and mechanical engineering we understand the importance of applied experiences hence internships and research experiences are a part of this program including those with tlp partner companies the tlp is not just a bunch of classes that are thrown together it's an integrated program where there's a focus on students being able to see how the disciplines of the TLP relate to each other and can be used together in the design of systems. Engineering design is a central part of the TLP, and we know that you learn that best through doing hands-on work. Now, we're able to do so much hands-on work because you'll be part of a small cohort of students whom you'll not only get to know each other well, but you'll also be able to work very closely with the TLP faculty.